Hey there, welcome back to AI Code King. Today, we'll be talking about Jan. Jan is a desktop app that allows you to run open source models locally. You can also connect your OpenAI or Groke API keys to chat with online models as well. So, basically with Jan, you can connect all your AI models in one place and chat with them. It is fully open source and is pretty easy to use. You can get it installed in one click, and you don't need to worry about using the terminal, coding, or configuring multiple files. It's all pre-done, and you can get it up and running in literally seconds. If we look at their features section, the first one is about local. You can run AI models like Llama or Mistral directly on your device for enhanced privacy. No need for an internet connection. This is really great because if you want to chat about something sensitive, then it's much better to chat about it locally. For instance, if you're working on a project that requires confidentiality, John's local model feature ensures that your conversations remain private and secure. But if you don't want that, you can connect it to remote models like OpenAI, Groke, or Mistral API. This way, you can access its capabilities without needing advanced hardware. This flexibility is particularly useful when you need to tap into the capabilities of online models, but still want the option to switch to local models when necessary. All your conversations are also stored offline. It is also cross-platform and available on Mac, Linux, and Windows, making it more accessible. One thing that I also like about it is that it also exposes API endpoints for you to use. These API endpoints can be used for your custom applications or other AI applications you may use. Also, these API endpoints are OpenAI compatible, so you can use it with anything that supports OpenAI models. It also has the extensions option to set up some other features if you want to. For example, you can add custom plugins to enhance John's functionality or integrate it with other tools and services. You can use it with PDFs, docs, and any such text file that can be parsed. It has two built-in engines for inference. The first one is Llama CPP, and the second one is TensorRT LLM. Both are good, but by default, I think John uses Llama CPP. The dual engine approach is better as it provides you with more flexibility and options when it comes to model inference. You can also connect it with LM Studio or Olama's endpoints if needed. Now, that's enough talk. Let's get it installed and check it out. I'll be telling you how to use it locally and with Grok models. First, come to Jan's website and click on the download button. Then, You'll be asked to select your operating system. Choose it and get the installation file downloaded. Go ahead and get it installed. Once you have it installed, you'll see this interface. Looks pretty cool. Now, you can see that it says, you don't have a local model yet. So, let's click on the Explore the Hub option. Now, here you'll see multiple options for the models. You can also paste a Hugging Face link, and it will download it automatically. But I'll be installing the Llama 3 model. So, just hit the download button here. Once downloaded, you'll see this Use button. Click on it, and you'll be sent back to the chat page. Now, here you can see the Llama 3 model is selected. Now, let's send a Hello message. It initializes the model at first. And now, it gets the response generated pretty cool. You can rename the thread over here as well. You can also change the instructions for your assistant here as well. Then, you can select the models over here, and then you have the inference settings. Here, you can change the model's advanced settings, like temperature, max tokens, and whatnot. Now, over here, you have the new thread option. From here, you can create new threads. Then, over here, you have the hubs option. You can install models from here. 
Another thing I like about this is that you can also see which models suit your system and which of them do not. Pretty cool. You can also set up models by pasting the Hugging Face link over here. Now, here's the local API server. You can expose API endpoints for the model through here, and you can also check logs here as well. You can also change your API endpoint URL if you wish to. Now, let's go to the settings option here. The first tab is My Models here. You can see the installed models, and you can also upload your own GGUF models if you wish to through this option. Then, there's the Advanced Settings here. You can set up Experimental Mode, which basically means that you can test out their beta and experimental features. Then, there's the GPU Acceleration feature. You can turn this off if you don't want to use your GPU, or turn it on when you want to use your GPU. Then, there's the HTTPS Proxy option. Here, you can set up HTTPS for your API if needed. Next, there's the Extensions option. Here, you can add extensions or disable extensions. Now, here, you can set up Grok API settings. And then, in this option, you can set up OpenAI API keys. Let's set up the Grok API key and check it out with Grok. Grok's API key is free, but is rate limited, so make sure you use it accordingly. It is better to use it if you're not going to spam it with messages. Anyway, if you don't have a Grok API key, then go to Grok's website, get yourself signed up, and go to the API keys option and create a new API key. Then, enter the API key name and copy the API key. Now paste your API key here. And that's it. Go back to the chat page. Create a new thread here. And now, in the Models dropdown, go to the Online Models option and select Grok Llama 3 from here. If you configure OpenAI API, then that will also be shown here. Now, let's send a message over here. Hmm. As you can see, it's pretty fast. You can use it with Grok, OpenAI, or any other LLM provider you want. I prefer local models, but when I need super fast speeds, I can use Grok. Pretty cool. Now, let me also tell you how you can do RAG with this. To enable RAG features, you'll first need to go to Settings, and then go to Advanced Settings. Now, over here, enable the experimental features. Now, RAG should be enabled. Go back to the Chat option, and here, you can see the attachment icon. Now first, over here, enable the retrieval option. Now attach the file here and ask the questions you want to know about the document or PDF. Pretty cool. This is going to be really great for people who just want to get their models up and running without the hassle of the terminal or any other configuration. It is really easy to set up via just one-click install. Another thing I like about this option over others is that you can set up all your LLM providers at one place, whether it be Gemini, OpenAI, Grok, or local models. You can easily use it without any issues by just toggling the models in the drop-down menu. It's really amazing. I really like this one. Let me know if you will use it in the comments. Also, if you liked this video, consider donating to my channel through the Super Thanks option below this video. Also, give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. I'll see you in the next video. Till then, bye.